Austin, what a big day for yourself. Tell us all about uh, how you came to join Melbourne. Yeah, well, obviously it's a big day. Um, I don't know, end of last year, Dad started getting some calls asking if I was interested in playing footy again. And um, Melbourne, one of the teams, and sort of made my decision about two weeks ago that I wanted to come to Melbourne. So yeah, after that, it's been a whirlwind. So yeah. Pretty easy decision or pretty hard in the end? Uh, all the clubs that presented me were really good and it was a tough decision, but um, I know this is where I felt like I get the best out of myself. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. And handy because you supported the Red and Blue. Yeah, I've been a Melbourne supporter my whole life, so it's a dream come true to play for the club, so yeah. Yeah, so I played junior footy from Auskick right up until uh, the very end of 2015 and played basketball at the same time as well and then sort of started making some state and national teams in basketball, so gave away the footy. And in the past year I've sort of come back around to the idea of footy, so yeah, done a full 180. So you're 17 years old and how tall are you? Yeah, I'm 204 centimetres, yeah. And you're expecting to grow a bit more? Oh, I wouldn't mind a few extra centimetres. I think Gorney's got me by a bit, so it wouldn't be, it'd be nice to get up there. Yeah. Have you met Max yet? No, I haven't ma met Max yet, but I've heard good things about him, so I may get to meet all the boys. Mark, it must be a pretty proud day for yourself. Uh, it certainly is, you know. You always wonder what your kids will be uh, up to when, they, when they're, I suppose, they're finishing school. And uh, it is, uh, it's, a, it's a big occasion, I suppose, for the family, but more, more importantly, Austin, because uh, it's a big step. How difficult was it, the process going through, with obviously several clubs interested in Austin and going through all of that? Look, um, Austin is the sort of kid that just takes things in his stride and I think once he did the first um, first club and then we went to a few more, I think he become quite at ease at it and uh, I think the hardest decision was choosing because you know all the clubs were, were terrific and no matter where he went it would have been great. But. Uh, Ultimately, this, the decision, the final decision, laid with him, and uh, he he really wanted to come to Melbourne. So, uh, you know, we're wrapped. He obviously had to make a bit of a choice there. Were you happy that he took footy, or would have you liked to have seen him stick at basketball? Uh, look, um, I think you've got to try and get your kids to follow their passion, and uh, you know, obviously, that's what his passion is, and uh, we support him 100%. So, uh, as long as he's putting in 100%, no matter what happens, uh, uh, that's all we can ask for. What's the plans now for, for I guess, now until about November or so? Um, just do as many weights and run as many laps as I can. I'm a bit behind there. My skills are pretty good. Um, the club have given me a plan. Hopefully I'll get a few sessions, at least watching the boys. So yeah, I should be in good stead by the time November 1st rolls around. And when did you sort of finalise Melbourne? When, in your own mind, when did you sort of think, this is a club for me? Oh, probably, about, not a, probably about a week ago. So yeah, it's moved pretty quickly. Great chatting. All the best for the future. Oh, thanks for having me.